Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now with all these amazing home screens that you have been adding to your phone, before you add all the widgets, before you add all those icons, there's one thing that you always change and you might be sometimes a bit confused about, and that is the wallpaper. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I add it? What are the best ways of doing it? And what are some tips and tricks that might be helpful for me? Well, this video tutorial is for you. Let us begin. Now, as you can see, a wallpaper instantly shows you a lot about your phone and the way that you want your phone to look. Whether it be a static plain wallpaper like this or something really funky dunky like this that really adds some personality to your phone. Both wallpapers are great and they really make your phone unique. So in this tutorial I'll just be giving you a few tips and tricks on showing you the best ways of adding wallpapers, where to get them and different apps in order to make your wallpaper look its best. Let us begin. Okay off the bat I'm going to explain to you the two types of wallpapers that you get. As you can see here, this is a live wallpaper. Now even though it may look cool as you can move around and it changes things around, that may look cool and it may look cool to all your friends, but it's not cool to your battery life as running this for half a day will severely drain your battery. So the next wallpaper that I'll be showing you, as you can see here, is a static wallpaper. And that just basically means that it doesn't move around like the live wallpaper. And the good thing about this, and preferably a black or a dark colored wallpaper, is that it definitely helps improve battery life. So you may want to think about that if you want some good battery results. Okay, now that you know the difference between the two, let's find out where we're going to be getting these wallpapers from. So my highly recommended app, you might have another one of yours, but the one that I use most often is the one seen here called Wallbase or Wallbase.net and downloading this app, if you ever have trouble finding good looking wallpapers, you have no idea where to go, this is where you to look. It's got the best ones, it's so easy just to go on into them and save it to your phone. It's free and it's got some amazing wallpapers. Great, so now you've found a few wallpapers and you want to add them onto your phone. Well, how exactly will you do that? I'll be showing you right now. Great, okay, the next app that we'll be using is called Wallpaper Wizardry, as shown by this awesome little wizard here. Now, the great thing about this app is that it can basically crop, resize, stretch any wallpaper or picture that you have in your gallery. Let me show you right now. So as you can see, I'm in my quick pick gallery now, just scrolling through. And I'll say you are, oh, I like this wallpaper a lot and I want it to be just that in my screen. So I'll go options, set as, you want it to be a wallpaper wizardry. I don't always like using the app because the app brings it up into like, into something like similar to this and it's not sorted at all. It just basically goes out once. So you'll go options, set and you want to go crop. Next, you want to say crop scale and no scrolling because, yeah, scrolling will not look too good on this. So now what this actually does is that you can crop exactly only the part that you want. So if you just want that and you know that this isn't really designed for your phone, say this is for Nexus 4 and mine's an S2. And as you can see, it's cropped it off like that. So we'll go set and it's only going to crop this image. So let's minimize, boom fit it exactly like that. Obviously if you want it a bit more at the top and bottom you can just easily do that by just changing those handles. Simple as that. So yeah I highly recommend Wallpaper Wizardry if you just want to go set and you can just play around with these features. There's so much you can do with this. It's quite crazy. Always remember though if you select scroll or non-scroll it overrides any other settings. So you just want to change that before you do anything else. Great. So now that you have a scrolling wallpaper it might look good and all but what if you want say this screen to have something different? What if you don't want it to be the same as this screen? Well this is where our final app that comes in and that is called multi-picture live wallpaper as found in the live wallpapers. See it's here. It's a great free app and what it allows is say we want to have we'll go settings and we can change our and the first thing we'll do is go add individual settings. So we'll tap that plus and you'll go one and then go OK and then change it to do two and then OK. This allows you to have one, two or more screens with different pictures. So now once you go into say screen one settings and you can change the picture source by selecting picture source and you can either have it a single picture, an album, picture folder or even the same as the common settings which you can 
change before this. So if you go single picture for now and say I like this one over here. So I'll select that and you can always go into crop resize ratio which is always good. You want to say show entire picture or you can just say fit to full screen. So there's quite a few choices there. If I go into screen two settings you can go into picture source and you can change say if you want to change your folder. I just saved it as wallpaper so you go OK. And you can go okay there's so many little things to choose from here as well as you can see I can go into transition type it's very cool you can say it's card and you can take off reflections and double tap to change picture so there's quite a lot of things to change from here and we'll go back let's just show you what it'll look like and you'll go set wallpaper so now when it gets set as you can see there's our wallpaper one there's our second screen that we can just double tap double tap and it changes it there it is there it is very very cool great alternative if you want to have quick changing jumpers or something to jump to this screen and yeah it just looks makes it look cool however it's still a live wallpaper so that RAM usage and that battery might get diminished slightly but I really enjoy using this often it's a really cool app to use finally one thing you want to know is that I'll just cover the last thing and that is if say you want this to work and it's not working you always remember to go options if you're using Apex or Nova, you want to go into home screen settings or Nova, I think it's slightly different and you want to go into wallpaper mode. So with single screen non-scrolling, this means that it'll only keep your portrait grid of your saved wallpaper there as it is. And multi-picture live wallpaper have a big conflict with this and they love it to have multiple screen scrolling. So if you go single screen non-scrolling, as you can see, it'll not work at all. That is it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial folks, I hope you understand a bit better on how wallpapers now work. And yeah, please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. Our subscribers and our viewers are always growing, so if you want to find the best Android tutorials and how to create home screens or different using different apps or widgets, you have come to the right place. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you around next time.